Okay. Well, do you want to get to reading? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Bob, please come and join me up here. And I need um, I need one more reader for this piece, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry, I saw, I saw me on first. <laughs> you, you actually, you know what, how about both of you come up here. So, Nima, you're gonna read the, the, the guy with the dark hair, Isaac, um, on the screen. I'm gonna step aside. And what's your name? I'm Janice. Janice, it's nice to meet you. And you are going to read the Cossacks. Okay, all right. I can do that. All right. No, no, no. Maybe we should tell us so we can see the screen. All right. So, all right, I'll start. Let me tell you, Isaac. Had I a halberd, I'd strike in the very heart. Liar, shut up. Them dogs. Freaking dogs on horseback. Can't you see this place is full of those dogs? Dogs! That's it, we're leaving. But we're having such a stimulating time. The kid can't hold his liquor. <laughs> I've got to bring him home to mama. I've <laughs> never really been a dog person. Uh, we're <laughs> sober enough not to get our asses chopped up for firewood, I'll untie you. Come on, kid. Time to get up. Just a minute more, mother. I have an anteater on my head. I had no idea what a soggy drinking partner you were, Broombaum. Kishnak, ach. Try not to puke on my horse, kid. Meyer Boombaum shits on your horse, and on all horses to come. Oi. <laughs> Look, Meyer, I'm nearly out of money. What if we sold my horse in the next town? Can you walk on that ankle yet? He wants Meyer Boombaum dead. As dead as his mama, his brothers, and all the Boombaum goats. He wants Meyer Boombaum fed, is what he wants. Unless you've always wanted to be one of the Luftmenschen. Like your new walking stick, Alta Conquer. Kishmach. You'll stick to tea tonight, Birnbaum, and no loose talk. Yes, Sergeant. But Meyer, that's no way to talk to girls. You have to treat a girl like a... like a horse. But you sold your horse. Well, sometimes a guy can't afford a horse. Very quiet. Good evening, officer. Will you do us the honor? Barkeep, another bottle of what our fine men here are drinking. What's your name, kid? <laughs> Never mind him. My name's Isaac. My game's your pleasure. What's your idol, sir? Chess? Darts? Cards? Goop? <laughs> no games yet. Not yet, kid. First. A drink. <laughs> oops. Or oops. That's all oops. <laughs> you pretend to drink only. Our lives depend on it. Ah, my brother. He knows some funny songs. I was suggesting he sing you some. Ahem. A pig and a goat went to the market, and what do you think they did see? A cow with a piglet upon it, sucking upon a titty. <laughs> the cow and the piglet got married and put out in a boat for Lasky. They turned back at the border of Russia, mistaking the mountains for sea. A fish and a peacock went at it, <laughs> subjecting a, a mole at the sight. Said, mole to the peacock, sit back on your buttock. <laughs> and spare me your squawking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Thank you, thank you, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> so what a cup what are you a uh, couple of kids doing in these parts? Oh, a bit of this, a bit of that. Show me where it is. Uh I show you where what is sir? The gold. The gold, surely you've got some. Oh barkeep. Hey, you're pretty generous for a Jew. Those two drink themselves to puke in every night. I'm not cleaning them up again. Never fear, madam. We'll get them out of here for you. All right, you. Let's get home. So, mm. oh. so now what do we do with them? 
Hmm. Let me see your shoes. Ha. Huh. I see why you've been such a crutch. Take us off. That's the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> After that, they argue. <laughs> So I had this crazy idea last year to do a, a, to live draw the Eurovision Song Contest. So now I'm going to take you to a completely different and totally unserious place. <laughs> I like making very serious work, but I also really like the Eurovision Song Contest because it's ridiculous. Does anybody not know what the Eurovision Song Contest is? Okay, so for you guys, um, it is it's a song contest in Europe. Uh, although non-European, there are some non-European countries that enter it, and I think it's kind of replaced war. <laughs> I should talk to a European about that, but uh, if you ever want to have a really good time, go to YouTube and type in Eurovision and then pick a year. Uh, the 70s are very fertile, the 80s are pretty great too. Um, the 50s are very staid. The 60s start to, they start to loosen up, and then by the 70s they're bonkers. Uh, and I did not even show some of the stuff that, that I really really love in this. Uh, when I got to the live drawing part though, so I, I did this pre-game that I'm going to read you, and then I'm going to read you some of the live drawing, not the whole thing. I realized it's actually not the semifinals and the finals that are really funny and crazy. It's the, the tryouts where all the crazy stuff happens. And then that stuff, the good stuff, the fun stuff gets weeded out. Try looking for it yourself. It's really <laughs> great. You're going to encounter some amazing human expression, is all I can say. <laughs> My fellow Americans, I invite you to join me on a journey of discovery. <laughs> of questionable folkloric anthems. Cream and butter tastes so good. <laughs> <laughs> Slavic girls, Poland, 2014. <laughs> Bombastic ballads delivered by gorgeous drag queens. Rise like a phoenix! She <laughs> the worst. Oh, she's awesome. I love Austria, 2014. She's 100% professional. Yes. <laughs> the so lame, it's meta. Eurovision, Eurovision. Italics, <laughs> <laughs> Belgium. Le Papa. I'll, I'll sing this one. Oh, that's the song. Apologies Sorry. to anybody who grew up in Europe. And, no, you know what? I'm not. This is a terrible song. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I can't do justice to this. That is a guy dressed as a penguin in a sequined costume <laughs> and the lyrics of the song. It was a more innocent time. <laughs> Whatever the hell it? this is. What's that? Can you please sing it? Penguin, penguin, But you have to imagine there's two people singing it together, and there's a guy in a penguin suit, and there's a whole orchestra with a conductor, and they're doing um, duet choreography, and they're wearing matching satin jumpsuits with bow ties. And if you if you sing this or even mention this to any French-speaking person. Uh, who was old enough to see this on TV or hear it, I guess, on the radio, you, they'll be disgusted. Like, they'll <laughs> beg you to stop. <laughs> yeah. And I can only hope for a performance as amazing as this guy's. Gildo Hot Dog Team! Gildo Horn, Germany, 1998. Look at him. Or this one by my <laughs> new hero, Verka Serduchka. I can't even sing this. <laughs> Elvis could sing. <laughs> I don't think anybody can channel the full force of Verka Serduchka. This this is another one that really needs to be seen. Yeah. Just just Google this one. I'll be live drawing this year's Eurovision Song Contest. This has been the pre-game. I'm a terrible singer. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. So now we'll go to the live drawing part. Oh, there you go. All right. Great. Serbia, I love you. <laughs> this was great. She was great. She totally did not advance to the final. She should have. <laughs> I was not feeling it in Austria <laughs> until he set fire to his piano. <laughs> <laughs> Romanians, is it about orphans? <laughs> The UK submits a terrible cha-cha number <laughs> with inexplicable <laughs> lyrics. Don't get into a fist fight. <laughs> 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 Why 
while I was working on this piece, when I wasn't enduring the song contest, I was mostly listening to the latest album by Einstein and Neubauten, an astonishing song cycle about the First World War. It is the absolute opposite of anything one might hear at Eurovision. <laughs> As you may have already guessed, my musical tastes don't really run in the direction of Eurovision. I just enjoy the theatricality and inexplicable artistic decisions. I like human endeavor. This is a part of Otto Dix's Dresden Triptych, a masterwork depicting the destruction of that war. I guess Eurovision exists in part to prevent something like that from ever happening again, to say nothing of the war that followed, which killed half my family and scattered the survivors around the world. The piece titled Achterland, with text attributed to a Paul Vandenbroek, feels like an audio component to that painting. I'm not even going to try to approximate this vocal. <laughs> But who besides me wants to think of these things? Congratulations to the winner. See you next year, the next time the world convenes to celebrate the international language of schlock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so thank you, Sonny. Thank you.